Hello, welcome back to Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Let's continue. Why look, it's the bastard son of the late William King. Still a mere boy and yet, ten times the demon his father was. Fancy seeing you here, can we? Still looking sleek and mean. Did you steal that costume from a dandy in Havana? Hell yeah, I did. No, sir. I found this on a corpse. One that was walking about and talking shite to my face only moments before. Huh. So, what's this I hear about a planned raid on a plantation? Not keeping secrets from me, are you? Not very well. Every day, schooners packed with sugar sail past, coming from plantations nearby. Most times, they stop here, sell off a few crates. There's one man visiting today that'd earn you a fine profit. So if you'd like to rob his plantation, I'll point him out. I would. Nice, man. Is it a Mr. Beckford that owns this plantation? That's the man. He owns dozens round these islands. And he's bloody rich. Well, that's bloody Just take his money. I'd like to see robbed. His agent is around here somewhere. Find and follow him. And he'll lead you straight to your prize. You don't see shit. Burford, Manning, to me. We've done with this place. Aye, sir. What's our course? We'll return to the plantation and there take stock of our inventory. It was a good harvest this year. You may not talk so loud, sir. This isn't anything about a friendly port, Ken. Nonsense, man. I had a delightful conversation with the chap just now. We came to quite an understanding. As you see, sir. All up and unfell, boys. We're going home. Not your Captain, you have the look of a man crafting a bold idea. The look I've seen before. You mark well, Adé. I've just overheard one of the Beckford's men talking grandly about his plantation and all the cargo he's keeping there. And it gave me the idea that I might take these goods off him and sell them off for a better price than he'd ever ask. <laughs> ah, a man of vision. I like this idea. Hold, Adé. There's trouble afoot. I see them. Trims out to the wind. I know she's a good sailor. Now prove it, my trumps. Coming after us, sir! Cutter! Royal Navy! They're all alone, sir! I would say the danger has passed. This man's working for Peter Beckford's people. Do you know them? The Beckfords and their sugar empire. Aye. The Beckfords and the Draxes. I never worked their plantations, but I knew their names from hearing other men curse them. But you worked the plantation, no? A modest one, aye. As a striker in the boiling house. Boiling house? <clears throat> Was it water they boiled, or something else? Cane juices. The hard process making sugar. Dangerous. Must be why it fetches such a dear price. What's it like, toiling on a plantation day and night? Well, with the cane sugar cut and harvested, it's run between two metal rollers that crush the juice from the plant. After collecting the juice, it was time to boil away the waters from the sugar. This we did in tatches made of copper. But let me tell you, brother, Boiling sugar is near the hottest thing on earth. Just a touch on the skin will stick like wood lime and burn on, leaving a terrible scar. Jesus. The 
it's a risk to anchor too close. The soldiers roving the plantation would catch us for sure. Drop here then and sneak ashore. We'll look after the jackal. All right. Some sneaky shit. Cat Island. Where to get these? That's all. It's Wilmington's birthday. And you saw fit to get pickled on duty. <laughs> oh, bother, sir. We have everything sorted. Of pickled as hell. We'll soon see, won't we? For you must double the watch this evening. Double, sir? Whatever for? I believe I was followed here, young man. By pirates, if my eyes on me. Though the ship was uncommonly large for such rascals. Certainly wasn't slavers, though. Not a ship that size. In any case, double the watch. And keep your damned eyes wide for anything suspicious. You up there! Look alive, man! You've a job to do! Apologies, sir. I'll keep my eyes peeled. going on here today how do you suppose you'll be able to ring that alarm if you're pissed drunk and barely able <laughs> everybody's to stand? pissed drunk forgive me sir i am fit and able if i Bullshit. see any strangeness about you'll hear the bell ringing straight away i promise Speak to the man in charge here. I require entrance to the warehouse. Which of you dogs has the key to the warehouse, huh? Here you go. to our pirate republic lads we're prosperous free and out the reach of kings clergy and debt collectors near 500 men now pledge their allegiance to the brethren of the coast in nassau not a bad number Ruth. yet we lack sturdy defenses 
the king were to attack the town, he'd trample us. Then let us find the observatory. If it does what these Templars claim, we'll be unbeatable. Not that twaddle again, can we? It's a story for schoolboys. I mean, proper defenses. Steal a galleon, shift all the guns to one side. Make a nice ornament for one of our harbors. It will not be easy to steal a full Spanish galleon. Have you one in mind? I do, sir. And I'll show you. She's a fussock, she is. Fat and slow. Arca del Maestro. Your jackdaw handles nice. Pinched her from the Spanish, was it? Aye. In the midst of a hurricane. Just before the treasure fleet was smashed against the shore. Was the hall aboard as rich as men are saying? A thousand times that. I reckon a million pounds worth of reals was sunk that day. Devil love a hurricane. Might have a dive there one day. See what we can rummage up. Diving them wrecks would be a nice change of pace for us. No need for violent actions against merchants and such. Well, that's some soft talk coming from a pirate. And as it happens, I mostly agree. We'll save the clashing of cutlasses for the military. And them that get in our way. Easy as she goes. No telling what you may find out here. Like staring through a waterfall. Don't saw your breeches, lads. I got this. That ship's a monster. Look at the size of her. Aye. And we'd not last long face to face with her. Hear that, can we? Keep your distance. We'll strike when fortune favors us. In the cover of darkness, most likely. Oh, you may cover that. Tailing ships now, Jesus Christ. We're clear, Captain. of yours. Not a man I call a friend. But we've been doing this kind of work for so long, I can't help but respect the man. Holy shit, who's that? Yeah! 
Sailing for that island. I know the place. A natural stronghold used by a French captain named Ducasse. Julian Ducasse, the Templar. Name's right. Didn't know he had a title. I know the man. And if he sees my ship, he'll know it from his time in Havana, meaning he may wonder at who's sailing her now. I can't risk that. And I don't want to lose that galleon. Let's think on. Maybe wait till it's dark before hopping aboard. Alright, well I gotta pause it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.